Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would film a very, very highly requested kind of video and it is the battle of the liquid lipsticks. A lot of you guys have asked me to do a video on all of the liquid lipsticks I own and talk about the good ones, the great ones, the ones that are okay, just give an overall review on all the ones I own. Now, liquid lipsticks, I feel like so everybody's getting tired of them, everybody has heard about them, every company is coming out with them and they are, but I think for a very good reason. Every company, when they see something is really big, they'll come out with similar things. So while all of these are liquid lipsticks, they're not all created equal. Some of them are better than others. So I'm not gonna lip swatch these things because, I mean, you guys know I'm very good with lip swatches. I will lip swatch anything. I don't care, but I have like a million here. But if I did do a lip swatch video on any of these products, I will link them down below. Also, I will be sharing with you my top three favorite liquid lipstick formulas. Out of these brands that I own, there are three that are the best of the best and I highly recommend them no matter what. I love them. Anyway, so I keep all of my liquid lipsticks in this guy right here. This is a Muji drawer that I purchased on Amazon. I just searched Muji drawer. <laughs> And then I chose the one that's the five drawers. They have a different one. They have a bunch of different Muji drawers. I picked this one because I needed somewhere to store all my liquid lipsticks since uh, clearly I have way too many. And I didn't want to buy it because it was a pretty penny, but I was like, you know what? It's a good investment. It looks nice to display in your room and they're really good quality. Ah! So I'm not gonna go in any order. I'm just gonna sit here and review all of them for you and then I will swatch on my hand my favorite ones from each brand. I'm gonna start with the first drawer because it's the first drawer. I have the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and I don't have all of them. I just recently started um, receiving products from Anastasia. I never used to before, but just recently they started sending me like their new products. And I had purchased five of these on my own and they weren't my favorite. I did really love persimmon. Where is it? This one. I love this one and I didn't get any smearing with this. The only ones that I didn't love were Pure Hollywood and Vintage. They are no longer here because I don't like those. But I do find that their new releases, they came out with new ones, Trust Issues, Veronica, Sepia. I found that those had a better formula. I don't know if I'm crazy. Am I crazy? But I feel like her new releases for fall had a better formula. Anyway, so these are around the $20 uh, price point, which is very common for liquid lipsticks unless they're a drugstore or an affordable brand. And people really love these. These are not my absolute favorite, but they are not bad. They are not the worst liquid lipsticks I've ever used. They have a moussey consistency. It's um, like a very whipped consistency. And when they dry down, they do have a little bit of tackiness, like you could press your lips together and feel it a little bit, but that has never bothered me on a li uh, in a liquid lipstick. So what I really do love about um, the Anastasia liquid lipsticks is the packaging. They're very fancy, very pretty, and they have a nice color selection. This is not all of them, but these are the ones that I like. The ones that I didn't like, I did give away to my friends. I'm quickly going to show you my favorite ones that I highly recommend. This is Sepia. It's a very beautiful um, gray toned color. A little bit of brown in it. Very nice for fall time. This is Persimmon. I love this. I love orangey reds. Such a beautiful, beautiful color in the summertime especially because it's like hot tamale. I love Veronica. My mother-in-law is really going to like that because her name is Veronica. She watches my videos. Hey, Veronica. This is Veronica. I love this one so much. It's a really pretty mauve with... It's a deeper mauve, though. It's not like your regular mauve. It has a little bit of, like, dust to it and, like, a chocolatey vibe to this mauve. I love this one. Trust Issues is amazing. It's also one of their new ones, and I highly recommend this one. I didn't get any bleeding or anything. That's trust, issue, trust issues. It's like Veronica, but much more purple, uh, deeper. And then I also really like Bloodline, and it's just their basic red shade, but it's a really pretty red. It makes my teeth look yellow. I mean, white to make my teeth look white. So yes, those are my favorite. Um, I find that these don't crumble on my lips, these specifically, and they don't fade ugly. I really like these. But Vintage and Pure Hollywood? Mm. They did not wear nicely. It's bad enough to say that I miss you. I feel so untouched and I want this. It's gonna be a mess. Me. So 
side note, whoa. <gasps> side note, if you do want a lip swatch video um, with any of these that I haven't done a lip swatch video on yet, let me know. Okay, um, let's go into this drawer right here. It's full of random liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna share with you my top three favorite liquid lipsticks at the end of this video, my top three favorite brands. Those, I'm gonna save the best for last. So I have three of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I feel like these were around really early on. The first brand that I saw really come out with them. I believe these are around $20, I could be lying. And the three colors I have are a Go Go, Requiem, and Lolita. My favorite one is this one and it is a go-go. Now these aren't my favorite. They're a little bit drying on the lips, which I, <laughs> you guys know I don't mind. I could wear cement on my lips and I'm perfectly fine. But I have a slight issue with these. This one is my favorite one. It's a go-go, it's a bright orange. There's like no red to this, it's orange. And I love matte orange lips, they're my favorite. But for some reason this one, I could only apply one layer to it. If I try to apply two layers, it gets patchy. And if I press my lips together and I separate them, it comes off. Like a patch will be missing from my bottom lip and it'll be on my top lip, if that makes any sense. So I don't love that about this. I have to be very, very careful. But I do love the color and I love that it lasts through a hurricane. So for, though, for that reason, I do recommend these anyway. This one is Requiem and it's a beautiful color. It's one of her new releases. The other two are older already. Um, it's a dusty lilac. This is what it looks like right here. I like it because it's like a dusty version of a purple. It doesn't make my teeth look yellow and it's not too intense. And then this one is Lolita and let me show you this. Let me show you this. Ugh. Does that look like Lolita to you or does that look like poop? I'm pretty sure I got the Bad Batch of Lolita, which kind of upsets me that there are even any Bad Batches. Like, come on, Kat Come on. So I think I got a Bad Batch, even though I still love this color, but I don't think this is the real Lolita color. So all in all, I do really recommend these. I have one from the brand Hot Makeup. It's a purple. It's called Moonlight Glow, and I bought it at IMAX, and I still haven't used it yet. I have two of the um, Sephora Collection cream lip stains. These are amazing, amazing, amazing. Definitely top five. To me, they're not sticky, they're not patchy. They go on really smooth. I really love the applicator. They smell like cupcake frosting. They have a really nice scent to them and they go on very pigmented and very smooth. I really have no complaints about these at all. I just wish they came out with a bunch of different like um, colors, a little bit more nudes. I didn't really see many nudes at all. This one is in the shade 10 and it is a hot, corally red right there and then this one is in the shade 02 and it is a peach color right there very very beautiful formula these are liquidy but they don't dry out my lips they're not very moussey which i like and they, they just don't dry out my lips i really like them a lot so i highly highly recommend these and they're cheaper than the average liquid lipstick i think these are around twelve dollars i'm making that up at this point i don't know <laughs> Also, from the Sephora collection, these are their Luster Matte Longwear Lip Colors. I do think these last longer than these. These fade a little bit faster than these, but I still love them. I just love these a little bit more. I still, I don't know, uh, it's a tie. No, I love these more. I just don't like the color selection of these at all. I think the other ones have a better color selection. This one is in the shade Pink Luster, Nude Pink Luster, I'm sorry and it's just a pink, an everyday wearable pink. I love the applicator on these more than the other one because it is a flat doe foot applicator. It's like a paddle style and I love those because I feel like it's easier to apply. And then this one is in the shade Russet Luster. It's my favorite. It's a red, but it's a rusty red. It's right there. I highly recommend these. They're so pigmented. They don't dry out my lips and they last a very, very, very long time. And they're also cheaper than your average liquid lipstick. These are the LA Splash liquid lipsticks. Now they have two different formulas, but I don't see a difference in both of the formulas. They have the Lip Coutures and then they have the Smitten Lip Tints. To me, they are the exact 
same formula. I really, really, really love these. I get a smooth application. I highly recommend them. They're $11, I believe. Um, so very good price for liquid lipsticks, but I don't like the scent. I wish they would have had like a pleasant vanilla scent. They have a very like, almost like chemically scent. I don't know, I'm not a fan of that scent. So for that, it gets like one star down. But I do love the color selection, especially these two right here. This one is in Ghoulish. They have another one called OG Ghoulish, but I like this one more. I love the applicator on these because it is a flat paddle style. This is in the shade Ghoulish. As you can see, it has like a purpley, mauvey gray undertone. Love it. And this one is Charmed. It's their nude, and I actually really like it. Right there. It's their nude with a little bit of a mauve. It's like a dusty nude. That one is Charmed. And my favorite one from this brand is called Latte Confession. Oh, I love this color. So beautiful. These are very liquidy. These might be drying to some people maybe because they are that liquid formula. It's not a mousse. It's a liquid. Like an actual liquid lipstick. I have all of the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. These are liquid lipsticks. And these are amazing. I have a lip swatch video on them. I love them. I don't like the darker colors. I got rid of them because they were super patchy, very uneven, not cute at all. But these, I love these. I will recommend two that I'm obsessed, I mean three that I am obsessed with. If you are into the color, you need to go buy these three because they are amazing. This one is in the shade Dreamy. It's like their regular everyday nude pink. Oh, look at that color. <gasps> I love it. These, by the way, the applicator... Mm, they don't have a great smell. They smell kind of... Eh, I don't like the scent, but I don't care. They're so inexpensive. I believe these are around $4. That is probably the cheapest a liquid lipstick has gotten, except the Wet n Wild ones. I haven't tried those, but these are so inexpensive. They're so smooth. Um, all of these, except the, the dark ones, but they're so smooth. They're not patchy. They're very comfortable. They're an actual liquid lipstick though, not moussey at all. You apply it to your lips, you can do a few layers, and it does it does dry down completely 100% matte. There is a slight tackiness to it, but nothing that bothers me. And they last a very long time on the lips. So this one is Dreamy, highly recommend. My favorite, 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 favorite one is this one in the shade Fleur. Fleur? Fleur? This is the one I wear the most out of all of them. I feel like for some reason that this color is very unique. It's a nude, but it's like a brownish peach nude. I love how this one looks, it's so pretty. And then Instinct is my other favorite. It's a beautiful red orange. That is Instinct right there. I love these three, I highly recommend these three. They are so good. I'm gonna link every website down below of the brands I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go into this drawer, that's better. this drawer right here, <laughs> also full of random ones. So these are the Meat Matte Hues by the brand called The Balm. I love The Balm. They do it right all the time. Um, I gave away a couple of ones that I didn't see myself wearing, but these five are my favorite. Oh my God. The color selection with the Meat Matte Hues isn't very big. I think they have like 10 colors only and a lot of them are like red, cherry, strawberry kind of colors. But nonetheless, they are beautiful colors. I love these. They're very, very, very comfortable to wear. They smell like mint chocolate chip, literally. Oh my God, it's so crazy. Like identical, it's crazy. I really like them. They do last a long time. And I'm gonna share with you my two favorites that I highly recommend. This one is called Committed. These are very comfortable on the lips. They're not drying whatsoever because they do have more of a moussey texture. This one is committed and this one is charming. You just have to build up the color a little bit. It's not that pigmented with just one swipe, but obviously very pigmented. But these are super, super comfortable. One of the more comfortable liquid lipsticks that I own in my collection. Let's talk about the Stila All Day Liquid Lipsticks. 
These were my favorite liquid lipsticks when I first got into them. These were my all-time favorite, and now they didn't even make it to my top three because I think the other three brands are better. But I really love these nonetheless a lot. They do have that moussey formula, but they stay forever on my lips. It's crazy. I actually did include one of the Stila liquid lipsticks in a, uh, a disappointing products video. The shade Tesoro, I don't like it. It crumbles really bad. But these, I love. Um, some people find these drying, but I personally don't. And I really love their color selection. It's not super big, but I really like it. I was going to share with you my favorite ones, but all of these are my favorite ones. This one is in the shade Aria. It's the best fall color ever, ever, ever. This is what it looks like. Oh, I love this color. It's stunning, stunning Aria. Definitely one of my favorites. The ever so popular Patina. Probably my favorite one out of all of them. Oh my gosh, Patina is so good. I wore it. Um, at Fame Expo and it lasted all day. No crumbles and nothing. I love them They're so pigmented one swipe and you're done. You don't need to apply more than one layer. I really love this one in the shade Bella It's amazing on the lips. It's like the most vibrant hot Delicious pink ever. Oh, by the way, these smell like cupcakes. I love the scent. And then this one is Dolce This one has shimmer to it, which I actually really like because it's a beautiful brown with like gold shimmer. And I know that may throw you off, but it gives such a beautiful summery look to your lips. I really like it. And in the fall too. So pretty. And then this is my favorite red lipstick of all time from any liquid lipstick. And it is fiery. And that is what it looks like. Because it's a deep, deep red. It's not like a ruby woo kind of red. So I love these five and I highly recommend them. Welcome to John Adams High, where you are gonna die, that's right. Whee. Okay, so let's meet the new drugstore loves of my life. These, unfortunately, were limited edition, so I'm not gonna stress about them too much. I did give away the nude one because I didn't like how the nude one crusted up in my lip, so I gave that one away. But these are the Milani Amori Matte Lip Creams. I feel like Milani is so crazy for making these limited edition when everybody loves liquid lipsticks and their drugstore so they're better like they're more accessible more affordable why would they make these limited edition i don't know i have a lip swatch video on these so i'm not going to go too in depth but these are a pure liquid lipstick they dry so incredibly matte and they're not tacky at all like you don't feel like you can kiss 10 people and it won't transfer it's ridiculous. I love them so much, but people might find them drying, but I really love them and they were so affordable. Now opening this drawer. Oh, I had two more of the Balm Meat Matte Hughes here. Hmm. These are the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. I didn't love all of them. I actually gave away to my friends the ones that I didn't like, but these, I love all of these. So I did keep the majority of them and I think they are really good. I'm the kind of person, like I said, I can wear cement on my lips. I, um, people have complained to me that they're very drying. Honestly, when I wear them and I put on a lip primer or a, a, a lip liner, they don't dry on me, they don't get gross on me. I love it, especially, I'm going to recommend three that I think are amazing, amazing. Oh no, I'm sorry, four, four. This is in the shade Beeper. I love beeper right here so good so pigmented ah i don't think they have a scent this is my favorite one of all time this is in the shade bumble this is bumble right here i love that color i love succulent it's the most vibrant red ever 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 right here i love succulent and then this one is my favorite one okay Bumble is my favorite one, but this one is my second favorite one. <laughs> this is in the shade Sunday. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this has a purple sheen through it. It's almost like a duochrome. I don't know any liquid lipstick that looks like this. So unique. You can, can you tell? Like when you move your mouth and you move, you know, you can see like a sheen of purple in it. Amazing. And for some reason, I don't know if I'm crazy, I don't know if it's the sheen in this. This one is the most comfortable to wear out of all of them. I love Sunday. I highly recommend Sunday if you're into bright lips because this is so unique. So unique. These dry very fast, so um, you do have to work with them a little bit. And they're six bucks. Um, the more I wear them, the more I like them.
Okay, so those are all the ones that I think are good. Actually, I think all my liquid lipsticks are good, clearly, as you probably already saw. But now I'm going to talk about my top three, like, I will... If all of my liquid lipsticks could disappear or had to disappear and I could only keep three brands, I would keep these three. This is in no particular order, but you guys know how I feel about the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. One of the best liquid lipsticks ever. It does have a creamy formula. It's like a mousse and a cream mixed together. Very creamy. Very, very, very pigmented. They have a bunch of different colors. I love their nudes selection. Amazing. And they last a very, very long time on my lips and they do not dry out my lips. I did a whole lip swatch video on this. So I'm not gonna swatch any of them because I have a lip swatch video on them, but I highly recommend the Ofra ones. I have a coupon code that you can use and get 40% off of anything from Ofra, but especially these because they're the best. And they're $20, but if you use my coupon code, it brings them down to 12 bucks. So the coupon code is Kathleen40. I will have it linked below. And my favorite liquid lipstick from Ofra happens to be the one I'm wearing. This is my collab with Ofra. Now they come in smaller packaging so that you can use most more of the product in the tube. But it comes with the same amount of product as the long skinny tubes. But anyway, this is my collab with Ofra and it is in the shade Miami Fever. I will have it linked below. You can use my coupon code to get it. So my other favorite brand, I'm really shocked that I only have four of them because I want them all. But their color selection isn't my favorite, which sucks. But word on the street is that they're coming out with new ones for fall. So I'm, I'm going to buy all of them. These are the Dose of Colors. What are these technically called? I'm just going to go with liquid lipsticks. <laughs> these are so good. I even love the packaging. Like, they're so cute and little. They're so good. They're around $20. They're pricey, but I think they're worth every single penny. I will tell you what made me realize, wow, these are the best. But first, let me show you the ones that I have. I actually only have one that is permanent, and it is in the shade Bury Me. It's a really beautiful berry color. These are liquidy, but they don't dry out my lips at all. This is in the shade Bury Me right there. They have that liquid consistency that they dry super matte, and you could barely feel them, like, at all. Ugh, they last forever. They're not moussey, but they're so... Anyway, and then I have the Terra collection that they came out with, but I heard that they're going to actually make these permanent. Um, and you can buy them individually. So the Terra Collection comes with this one in brick, this one in sand, and this one in stone. Everybody's going crazy about stone. It's a beautiful color. Let me just swatch it. Might as well. That is stone right there. This one's my favorite, actually, and it's called sand. And it is a super nude, super nude. Right there, you can barely see it. I love it. It's called sand. And then this is brick. It's a really pretty deep red a little bit of brown it's stunning right there stunning so let me give you a little story really quick this video is 17 hours long I bought the Terra collection specifically for brick and for stone I didn't think I would like sand at all because it is a very very nude lipstick but when I bought it and I put it on I was like wow I love it I loved it anyway it looks amazing with the darkest of dark smoky eyes I love the shade sand and when I put it on, I didn't have any expectations for it. I was like, this is going to give me that really disgusting white crusty rim on the inside of my mouth that every nude liquid lipstick gives me. Every liquid lipstick that has a very light nude, like Anastasia Pure Hollywood, all of them give me that disgusting crustiness on the inside of my mouth. None of the Ofra ones crust up, get disgusting in my mouth. They don't look gross. None of them. Even if I'm wearing them for hours, sand looks fan fantastic i'm obsessed with dose of colors liquid lippies and they are worth every penny i love these and then the other uh the other one that i love that are in my top three are the girl lactic lip paints it's these right here she has eight of them in her line and this is what they are i really love the color selection i think she has like pretty unique colors here and very wearable colors like you can wear a lot of these like on a daily basis. I'm going to share with you my three favorites. This one is in the shade Divine. It used to be called Demure, but now it's called Divine. This one's my favorite one. I used to wear this one so much um, last winter and fall. Oh, that is Divine. This one is Demure now. I don't know if you could tell the difference. It's just like a lighter version. Divine has a little bit like more rusty, more like dirt to it. 
This one is Allure. I love this one. So beautiful. And then I really love Starlet and Blushing. Starlet is such a beautiful everyday shade. And so is Blushing. You can wear both of these on a daily basis. You can wear anything on a daily basis. Psh, rules? There are no rules. This one is Blush... No. This one is Starlet. It's a pink. And this one is Blushing. It's a lot more peach. This is Blushing. So I love these because they have an incredible formula. I love the scent. The scent is so pleasing. It smells so delicious. I love the scent. And they are liquidy. They're so comfortable to wear. They just glide on my lips. I love them. And I think they are seriously underrated. More people should talk about the lip paints from Girlactic because I don't hear about them enough. So that was my liquid lipstick collection. And it was kind of like a battle of the liquid lipsticks, even though I said that they were all good. I just, I love them all. I think some of them are better than others, but they all serve a beautiful purpose in my collection. So anyway, that completes this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Leave a comment down below of your all-time favorite liquid lippy. Um, I know some people hate them, but if you love them, leave me your favorite one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!